I spent 300 days in hardcore RL craft. I know it's been a while since the last one, but we're gonna start right where we left off. I have one goal for this video, and that is to defeat Rahovart. Since I've never done it before, in these next 100 days, I need to. If you're new here and enjoy the video, please consider subscribing. You can always unsubscribe if you end up changing your mind in the future. Anyway, let's get right into it. This is 300 days in hardcore RL craft. Ah, yes, so right off the bat is when things start going bad. On day 301, I started by fixing my boots. They break so easily, and I'm not sure if it's because of how fast I could swim or if I'm just taking too much damage. Also, I had enough scales to reforge them. Now, all of my armor is masterful. Since I haven't played this world in a while, I had to refresh my memory and see how strong my armor and tools were. I started by clearing this battle tower and stealing all of its goodies. There's just something offensive about the way the spiders crawl up the wall in RL Craft. I, I, I don't know. It's bad enough normal spiders are in Minecraft, but when they crawl up the wall sideways, I just, that's where I draw the line. I'm done. If you don't know what's on my sword, the two main enchants are Sharpness 4 and Lifesteal 4. That means when I hit a mob with this sword, I gain health. Well, now at this point, I'm just being obnoxious. I completely forgot that my pickaxe mines more than one block at a time, and, well, yeah. I won't lie to you, I really wish this wasn't my first battle. Turns out I'm a part-time exterminator. I mean, <laughs> who knew? In RL Craft, you really don't have to mine for items. You can just raid battle towers and buildings for the stuff you need. But I figured, why not? Maybe I could find something if I dig down a little bit. And, well, yeah, I found something. Do you see that guy? Do you see him in there? That is a that is a very big dragon. That is a tier five dragon. Stage five, whatever you want to call him. If I kill it, there's a possibility I get an egg. And that means I could have my own dragon. So I mean, obviously I'm gonna fight it. I was stuck down in the dragon's den after it flew through the roof. These dragons aren't slow, and if I don't catch up to them right now, I won't be able to find them. Day 302, I climbed up to the surface and got on one of my mounts. I started chasing the dragon, and eventually I caught up to him. Okay, okay, look, the first half of the fight with this dragon was kind of cool, but not so much the second half, so let's kind of wrap this up a little bit. Since it was a tier 5 dragon, I searched all around for the egg that could have dropped from it when I killed it, and I couldn't find one. So I guess I got unlucky this time. Watch this guy just deny my arrow. Look at this. Since he woke the battle tower golem up, I decided to go for him first. He was stronger, and he was more of a threat to me. Even though, there isn't really much of a threat to me anymore regarding normal bosses and mobs. <laughs> I didn't really do much else for the rest of the day, I just kind of leveled up my stuff and used my skill points where I could. Using these skill points helps you do things like mine obsidian faster or even walk up single blocks without jumping. It's pretty convenient and I also never really used them so I figured why not. Day 304, another day, another battle tower golem to yeet off into the sky, it's, you know, it's, it's nothing different. I've been raiding so many battle towers that I literally have no inventory space left. I wish you didn't have to take your chest plate off to carry a backpack because I could really use one right now. I could go to the end to get shulker boxes, but I don't really feel like doing that. It's just, it's not on my list of things to do right now. Would you believe this? A dungeon? And I don't really know what this is, but I know I die every time I go in there. They're both next to each other, so there's no point in only exploring one. Let's go for both of them. If my sword didn't have lifesteal, I, I, I would be one, one dead guy, I'll tell you that. 
I was really hoping to find some crafting runes so I could make golem armor. If you don't know what runes are, you can put them in a rune reader and they show you crafting recipes. This way you'd be able to craft hidden items. All pieces of the golem armor are part of the hidden items, and I need these runes to be able to see how to craft them. I'm not exactly sure where these runes spawn, but I find them in underwater temples or in these dungeons. There may even be some in the tower next to this dungeon. I dropped my sword while I was fighting these mobs and I started getting scared, so I had to run back to it and grab it. While being down on the very last floor of this dungeon, an event started. Riot! Forest parasites! I've never seen this before, so I wanted to go back home to check it out. For now, the tower can wait. I want to go check this out. It's just, it's just the walking trees. Is that what you're telling me? Is, is it really just the walking trees? Yes, it was just the walking trees. That's all it was. And I'm very upset that I didn't go in that tower. I don't want to talk about it. Day 309, I leveled up some more. I figured why not use my XP tomes since, I mean, I had so much I could probably throw them out and not even think about it. I need this rune reader to see the crafting recipes of the armor that I want to make. I'm so excited to actually find the runes for this armor. I can't wait. Over the last 300 days, I know for a fact I found a couple runes. I might have lost a few or left some behind, but I found one right here and I decided to see what it had. This rune makes a... a gem? Okay, boring. I don't know about you guys, but if I was a rune and I was hiding from somebody, I would be hiding in the Lost Cities. So that's the first place I was looking. Probably a stupid idea. I did nothing in the Lost Cities. I walked around and opened four chests. I, I couldn't find anything. I was in there for two whole days. Couldn't find a thing. After that whole fiasco, I started searching the ocean. I know there's temples that spawn in the ocean, and I know the runes spawn in them. I feel like I have more of a chance now searching in the ocean than I did in the Lost Cities. This isn't my first time finding one of these, and I'm not really sure what to call it, but every time I find one, I really want to make it my own base. I do think that there's some spawners down here, though. With my current gear, this might actually be a pretty safe base. Ah, uh, yes, this was around the time I had a snowball fight with these yetis. Um, listen, they threw the first snowball. I didn't start this. Um, my excuse is, okay, hear me out. My excuse is, I just haven't been playing. That My aim is a little off, you know, that's, that's it. That's all. Day 324, I saw this dragon minding his own business, and I took that personally, so yeah, I had to exterminate him. I'm so sorry, dragon buddy. No, actually, I maybe I would feel bad if it was a tier 5, but it's not a tier 5. While exploring, I found cobblestone underwater, so I had to see what was inside. It was an underwater dungeon that was home to so many guardians. Guardians give you mining fatigue and they're extremely annoying to fight if you're playing normal Minecraft. I'm overpowered so dealing with this dungeon wasn't too hard. Also, I got a decent amount of loot. I can't stress this enough. Without this sword, I would honestly be dead. Some of the chests in this place had really good items and some other chests didn't. It was basically a hit or miss, but in the end I did turn out lucky because I found a few runes. It's pretty cool that I'm getting closer to crafting my golem armor. I made my way back home so I could empty my inventory and make space for more items. Day 331. I started reading the runes that I had collected. Fingers crossed that at least one of these is a golem armor piece. Of course not. Unfortunately, I didn't get what I was looking for, but that's okay. I still got some XP tomes from those dungeons and battle towers, so I guess it wasn't a complete loss. But look, I'm almost 100% leveled up on everything. It's kind of exciting. I spent the next couple of days still looking for more runes and XP tomes. I was determined to be as overpowered as possible, and nothing was going to stop me. This dungeon had some pretty okay loot. It still wasn't what I needed, though, so I had to leave and find somewhere else to go.
The last level of this dungeon had so many runes in the chests, but also an overabundance of mobs, and honestly, if I stay here, I don't think I could kill all of them. I packed all my stuff up into my shulker box and made my way back home. There was no shot I was dying here. Hey, hey, listen, listen, I got the boots too, okay? M mind your business. I just, I didn't record them, I don't know, I'm sorry. On day 340, I made my first golem armor pieces. I wish I had my mic on for this part of the video because I was hype. Like, look at this. This armor reduces knockback. That's, that's insane. Listen, that's enough for me. What else could you want in life aside from no knockback? Could you imagine? Listen, imagine walking down the street and you get hit by a car. You don't get hit by the car. The car gets hit by you. No knockback. Amazing. And that's it. Sold to the man, me. Thank you. For the next couple of days, I was out exploring for more of the items that I needed to craft the Golem Armor set. I was trying to find these items as fast as I could so I could fight Rahovart within these 100 days, but I knew my current armor and gear wouldn't help me at all in this fight. Also, since this is hardcore, I can't respawn. I need the strongest armor. While I was on my way back home, I found another one of those death towers. Like I said, I actually don't know what they're called, but every time I go in one of these, I die. I didn't get to go in last time because I got sidetracked, but this time, yeah, I'm ready to die. Let's go. We're going inside. Day 356, I finally had enough levels for my golem armor set. I was excited to enchant this already broken armor, and by the way, if there's another armor set that's stronger than golem, let me know. I'll try to make it in another video. So I guess if you guys do enjoy this video, please leave a like. Let me know if you want another one. I know sometimes it takes me a while to upload, but eventually I do it, right? But take a look at this. <laughs> my armor's kind of going crazy. There's no way, there's absolutely no way I can lose to Rahobar. Um, hi. I know. Weird. I don't ever pop up in videos, or in the middle of videos, or ever. And it's been a very- Damn, you can see where I bit my lip! Damn. Basically, I just have a quick thing to say. If you're not subscribed to my second channel, you should probably go and do that. I'm funnier there. I think. Sometimes. Also, follow me on Twitter. Here's the at. <laughs> You know what everybody's favorite thing to do in RLCraft is? Go to the nether. 
For the next 10 days, I'm gonna be spending my time in here. And if you think I'm okay with this, I'm not. I just decided to go to the nether to see what I could find. There wasn't really much to do in the overworld right now, so why not? But the nether and I aren't very good friends, and the mobs here are really strong and they spawn like crazy. After searching around for a day, I found this dungeon. It looked kind of like the ones I'd find underwater, except a nether version. It took me a couple days to clear it out due to having to constantly drink water. And, you know, that's one of the reasons why I hate the nether so much. Drinking water, it's, it's just the worst. If I knew that this place had as much loot as it did, I would have been here all the time. Never forget, only you can prevent forest fires. Also, hey look, all my skills are leveled up. I think I did this one other time while playing RL Craft, and it might have been during my first playthrough. I noticed something in my inventory. It looked like a potion ring, but it was blue, and it was called the Wild Ring of the Fairies. I had no idea what it did, so obviously I had to put it on. And, oh well, I turned into a fairy. While this is weird, I mean, it's okay, I can fly now. Listen, if I knew about this before, oh my god. The amount of abuse that would have come out of this one item, this one singular item, you have no idea. I figured now would be a good time to test out this new Ring of the Fairies, so I went down into a dungeon and, well, you know how this is gonna go, so I'll just let you watch. Everybody makes fun of short people, but look, who's getting shot by a skeleton here? Not me. I feel like I haven't been back in my house in forever. I grabbed some empty XP tomes and began to fill them. I'm not sure when I'm gonna need levels again, but it's good to know that I have some just in case. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did I just have a nightmare in the game? No way. For the next 10 days, I worked on all my armor and all my gear. I made sure I had enough items to reforge everything. The quality of all my gear was going to be masterful, and there was nothing anybody could do to stop me. All of my armor was ready, and I think I had enough tools to deal with this fight. I was getting ready to go fight Rahovart, and then I realized I've worked on none of my baubles this entire time. If you don't know what these handy little things do, you can wear them like armor and they give you little potion effects. But just like my armor and my other tools, their quality can be changed. So for the next few days, I work on fixing the quality. With all the buffs I got on my potion rings, I have so many hearts now. All of my overpowered baubles, my lifesteal sword, and my golem armor, I honestly don't think I can die. I'm ready to fight Rahovart.
<laughs> With Rahovart defeated, I can finally rest. I don't know why I was so scared going into that fight. I had it in the bag. It was so easy. The most important day of this video. I fished. While floating? <laughs>